on today's video i'm going to share this exciting news yes guys okay for those of us that don't really know okay for any company to be able to sponsor or to give you know sponsor visa that's what we know as cos to anybody in order for them to be able to migrate to the uk or people that are already here in the uk for them to continue staying in the uk they have to be on the uk sponsor list that's to say that the home office must have given them the license for them to be able to do so okay and this license does not just come automatically okay they have to apply for it and they pay money to apply i tell you this yeah just recently the home office have come out to kind of you know tell these people People, that's the employers that yes they have a plan that will help them in as much as they are trying to cut down the net migration rates of the uk by bringing out all these laws that we already know and everybody's like oh oh why is uk like this okay they have actually come out also to kind of you know give these guidelines okay to support employers that's to support employers that wish to you know to bring in people overseas workers to come over to the uk to work i'll be telling you on this video how this is going to benefit not just employers, but even you, employee, you, migrants that have come to this country, you that have been looking for COS, I will tell you how this benefits you. Do not go anywhere. Stay tuned and I will be seeing you shortly. <music> Yes, guys, you're yeah, welcome back to my channel. My name is Blessing Emozo of Blessed Blessing Channels. Okay, so on this channel, I film content on how you can migrate to the UK, live generally in the UK. Any good thing that you can think of that has to do with the UK, those are the informations that I share on this channel. So if this interests you, guys, please do well to subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload new videos. To my returning subscribers, thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos. I sincerely appreciate you. God bless you. Yes, let me just go right into it in a significant development the uk home office has officially announced the abolition of the requirement for uk sponsors to renew their sponsor license every four years effective from april 2024 this major policy change is expected to you know simplify the sponsor license management process okay providing relief to employers and saving valuable time and resources of course it takes them time to apply and wait for for home office response before they will continue giving licenses to employees okay so now it's saying automatic 10-year extension okay as part of the new rules uk sponsor licenses that are due to expire on or after april 6th 2024 will not benefit from automatic extension of 10 years oh my god <laughs> this means that sponsor can continue their sponsorship without the hassle of going through the renewal process okay the extended licenses remain valid or else revoked by the home office then the streamlining processes okay the decision to eliminate the renewal requirement aids to streamline the sponsor license management process, okay, by automatically extending licenses for a decade, okay. The Home Office intends to reduce administrative burden on both sponsors and government authorities, okay. This move is expected to foster a more efficient and simplified system, okay, allowing employers to focus on their core activities without the reoccurring need for license renewals okay yeah i think i've already explained this okay end of license renewal cycle with the introduction of the 10 year automatic extension sponsors can now enjoy a long period of stability without the interruption of regular re renewals okay this change marks a departure from the previous four years renewal cycle offering sponsors a more extended time frame to maintain compliance with immigration regulations okay implications for sponsors sponsors across various industries we benefit from the extended license period, okay, providing them with greater predictability and reduced administrative overhead, okay. The Home Office decision to automatically extend licenses reflects a commitment to supporting businesses and organizations by minimizing bureaucratic handles and promoting a business friendly environment okay then in conclusion the recent announcement by the uk home office to abolish the sponsor license renewal requirement and introduce automatic 10-year extension presents a significant shift in immigration policy okay this change is poised to simplify processes save time and resources for employers okay and create a more streamlined and efficient sponsor license management system so that's to say that the time that they will use to you know to be renewing you know going through all that process of renewal they will now have to concentrate more 
on being compliant with you know with the home office regulation as regard sponsoring overseas workers and all that okay so that say that they don't want them to spend time renewing they don't even want them to pay money oh my god this is actually a good one yeah sponsor license holders do not need to take action for the extension to apply if the license expires on or after 6th april 2024 the new expiring dates will be viewable on the license summary page on the sms i think all these companies they already know what that sms is okay the platform where they can view everything about their sponsor license okay then if you have already received a renewal notice for your license you can ignore it if you have already made a renewal application for your sponsor license the license will be updated automatically with the extension and the home office will contact you to, to arrange to refund the renewal fee okay because we already know that this benefits employers okay they will no longer pay money for them to apply for license or to renew their license okay so automatically after every 10 years it automatically renews okay it's no longer four years as it's used to then as an employee like someone seeking for certificate of sponsorship how does this benefit you guys listen to this this is how it benefits you if you have been looking for sponsor license or you have been looking for a company to sponsor you and then you get Get in touch with one of these companies okay you'll find out that most of them they will tell you that it's only two years sponsorship that they can give because their license will expire in the next two years i don't know if you understand some they will tell you that it's three years that they can give to you because you know within that three years they have to renew but now that the government has come out to say that it's going to be like for a period of 10 years yeah so it will be benefiting you even as someone that is looking for certificate of sponsorship once you're able to get this yeah you find out that the company may actually give you a longer period like longer years talking about five years you know 10 years as the case may be so the reason why most companies reduce this to about three years is because they will have to go through that process of renewal they will have to pay money they will have to make out time they will have to fill the application form and they will still have to wait to get response from home office okay so because of this they will rather just give two years and tell you to hold on that once the two years or three years expires then they cannot renew it okay so like i said everybody is going to benefit from this okay yes because you have longer period of time on your certificate of sponsorship okay no more two years no more three years of course we hope that these companies are going to come out with longer years on the certificate of sponsorship so guys that is it immediately i got this information i thought it's wise for me to let my people know and guys please do well to share this video to many people you know will benefit from it and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already like this video drop your opinion on the comment section how do you think Think that this will benefit you but guys before i leave there's something that i want to introduce you guys to yeah for those of us here in the uk that have been longing to transfer money back home guys there is this app the app is just too wonderful you know somebody has been telling me about this app but i never believed it yeah if you want to send money to any african countries from uk to these african countries a friend of mine just introduced me to this app and he just sent it to me okay blessing can you please use this app to send money to nigeria can you just try it out I said, ah, I've been using uh, other apps like Lemonade and other. Lemonade is still perfect. When I say, okay, let me just give this a try. Immediately I open it. Oh God, the rate is just there. The rate I saw there was so amazing. I said, no, bless you. So you have been missing all this way. And I just did some transfer a few days back <laughs> using another app. Okay. Immediately I made this transfer, guys. The person that I sent this money to got the money almost immediately. And not just that. After sending this money, they reimbursed me. <laughs> yeah i actually got some bonus from them so guys the more reason why i'm encouraging you if you want to send money to any of your loved ones back home you can try this app out okay i'll leave the link to the app on the description box of this video guys please try and use my promo code to download the app thank you so much again for watching and i remain blessing a of blessed blessing channel thank you bye